Hello everybody, this is uh, Daniel Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com out here in the beautiful nature, the spontaneous order that surrounds us all. I was watching a series recently, uh, I guess like a documentary series, and I was thoroughly impressed with this because unlike other documentary series that I watch uh, with my son, because he likes watching documentary series, I usually watch the BBC nature uh, documentary series and uh, I enjoy watching it because of the beautiful pictures and images and videos of the animals and their habitats and their behavior. Unfortunately, I grow tired and weary of the unceasing and relentless reminder of the anti-human perspective that they espouse on those programs. The, they commonly mention global warming, climate change, how human beings are a scourge on the earth, destroying the natural habitats of various animals and wreaking havoc to the earth in general. And it's a thoroughly anti-human, anti-life perspective since we humans are a product of the earth and a product of nature anything we do you can say is natural can a bear act unnaturally can a wolverine act unnaturally can a hamster act unnaturally can a cat act un unnaturally it's there's no way for any of these animals to act unnaturally, but somehow human beings, also being a product of the earth, can act unnaturally. I find that very curious and amusing. And so this other documentary series, I have been watching many episodes, and I've seen up until episode 7, and not once have they mentioned the this anti-human perspective of climate change, global warming, human beings are destroying the planet and um, annihilating various species on the planet. And it really impressed me because I thought that that was a universal message of all nature-oriented programs, but apparently it's not. And I was very pleased with that. And um, they have on the show many astronauts that chime in on their various perspectives of the Earth, being that um, they have been in uh, the International Space Station for a good deal of time, I think collectively like a thousand days, something like that, collectively. And so they have their fascinating perspective on the Earth being... Um, outside of it and so I think it's vital vitally important that human beings begin to appreciate what human beings have done <laughs> because I think too many people can get comfortable and complacent with the various luxuries and comforts that capitalism and the market has gifted upon humanity. I think it's easy for many people to forget how for the vast majority of human history human beings have suffered, have toiled when they were subjected to the raw uncompromising elements of nature. Basic things like shoes, clothing, decent housing, air conditioning, heating have catapulted our 
standard of living to the stratosphere. As compared to the vast majority of humans that have existed, we are living like kings. Even those people that consider themselves poor in today's society, they would be the envy of kings, monarchs, and pharaohs of the past for the basic luxuries that they can enjoy. Add to those basic comforts when you add cars, trains, planes, laptops, computers, cell phones, the internet, you can see how the level of comfort that we enjoy today, the level of free and leisure time is unparalleled and must be appreciated, must never be forgotten. It took us millennia to get to this point and for people to come and say that this is unnatural, that we should not be living like this, that we should revert to more primitive ways of life is a repudiation and is an insult to those people that have suffered to bring us these comforts. And I think a degree of appreciation, a degree of gratitude is necessary. Our lives are incalculably better than our ancestors. And I don't think they would flinch not one second if they had the chance to trade places with us. A thunderstorm centuries ago could be a life or death situation depending on where you lived. A thunderstorm today could be a romantic dinner. <laughs> could be a romantic walk outside. Droughts, irrigation, improving the lives of those people that would otherwise live in deserts. Think about Las Vegas, places where naturally it is a desert, but through human ingenuity has been made into a thriving marketplace and economy. This is testament to the genius of humans in transforming their world, in making it suitable habitat for humanity. We were not born into a safe planet that we have made dangerous. We were born into a dangerous and hostile planet that we have made safe and comfortable for our fellow human beings. It is of vital importance that we do not forget the achievements of our ancestors in the suffering that they endured so that we could live in comfort. I implore you all to recognize that and not feel ashamed to enjoy it, to use it for any of our ancestors would not hesitate to use them as well had they had the opportunity. Thank you very much. This is Daniel Quayer from peacefinancism.com. Enjoy nature. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more of it, please feel free to donate and help me interview other fascinating people. You can do so through Patreon. That's patreon.com slash peacefulanarchism to help me out. A dollar a show is all I ask. If you feel so inclined to donate more, please feel free. It will only assist me in spreading the message of freedom and volunteerism that much farther and that much more efficiently. You can also donate to my Bitcoin. My Bitcoin address is in the description to my videos as well as on my website, peacefulanarchism.com. And while you're on my site, there's a donate button to donate through PayPal. 
If you prefer to donate through PayPal, you can do so with that. But Patreon is a little bit easier for content creators as you can set up a recurring donation if you so desire. Also, while you're on my website, peacefulanarchism.com, please feel free to sign up, enter your email address, sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive updates every time I post something, a video or an interview. I do not send out any spam. Or you can also follow me on Facebook under facebook.com slash peaceful anarchism or facebook.com slash Danilo Cuellar 3, I believe. Danilo Cuellar 3. So either either one of those methods, if you are able to donate, I would be most appreciative. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have a magnificent day.